guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So, we're here again with this gorgeous collage masterboard that we made using the full sheet um, book pages. And what we're going to actually do um, is, you know, hopefully in this video, finish up using all of the, you know, remaining bits and pieces. So, again, I've brought along a couple of kind of bits that I thought that you know, would work really nicely with this masterboard. I've got this one, which is one of the pockets that we've made in a mass making session. And I thought that actually this section here on the masterboard, hopefully you can kind of see that, hopefully is going to just work really well on here. And then this one here, I thought we could kind of make, um, you know, something on, on this base. I haven't decided what to do with the other bits yet, um, but hopefully by the end of the video we will have, you know, come up with something or certainly be much, much closer to it. So what I'm going to do is start with, we'll start with this one, we'll cut this down. So I'm just going to cut around like this to get it, you know, kind of off of the board in the first place. So. Okay. Oops. Right, let's move the board out the way. So what I'm thinking is, obviously this one I've put onto just some book page and I was intending on having it as, you know, a um, longer piece. But actually, I'm now thinking... Hmm. What am I thinking? I, w I was thinking about just having it as a smaller piece on here and having it, you know, this way on. Um, hmm, I'm just having a look now and deciding is that going to work nicely. Uh, sometimes you just, you know, you have a plan and then when you come to do it, you think, oh, actually it might work somehow with something else. No, I think, yeah, I think that is going to be quite nice so I'm just going to cut this down because at the moment obviously it's a little bit on the big side now unfortunately I did already cut into this so I'm going to have to snip it off across here which is a bit of a shame because it's going to have to go across that umbrella okay and let's cut it across here Oh, that looks gorgeous on there, doesn't it? So what I'm thinking is hopefully... Got a little tiny bit of a tear there, but that's okay. I'm thinking we could stitch this onto here so it would be like a double pocket. You'd have a pocket here, and then when you glue it onto the page, you'd have the pocket, you know, from this kind of background piece as well. So, yeah, I think that would work quite nicely. So let me just quickly straighten this bit up a second because it's a bit sort of slanty or skew if okay and then we're just going to cut this down here mm, I mean because this is quite a long piece you I mean you could have that going over the page but I'm trying to think whether that's actually going to benefit you at all mm. Not really, to be honest, because we're then going to have to cover up this book page, which then, you know, straight away it's getting a little bit too silly, really, because, you know, we've got layer upon layer then. So I think we're better off, you know, just just keeping it as it is. So I'm just going to trim it down slightly more. And then I think what I'll do is I'm going to just rough these edges up. I know not everybody likes this. Sherry, I'm talking to you. Um, but yeah, I always really like the roughed up edges and, um, just need to be a bit careful actually because yeah, some of these are single book, book page pages. So of course, yeah, just need to be a little bit careful. And then I'm just going to go around here as well, actually probably trim that down slightly more now. So yep, let's just trim that down slightly more. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, 
yeah, I'm going to ink up the edges here. Okay. And then I'm just going to go round here and ink this one. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it across to the sewing machine. I'm going to, uh, yeah, don't think I need to stitch across there. So I'm going to stitch this onto the background sheet just around three, you know, the three edges. I'm also probably going to stitch, um, yeah, I'm just thinking because this is obviously glued onto that book page. So I don't want it, can you see here where I've got a gap? But then I'm thinking we might have one too many line of stitching. So actually, I think what I'll do is just kind of go in with my glue. Sorry, just just trying to clean that nozzle a little bit. Um, just go in with my glue here. Okay. And then just... Press that down like that. Okay, so I'm going to just take this across to the sewing machine and stitch that on. So I'll bring you with me um, to the sewing machine. So, Okay, so I'm here at the sewing machine and what I've done actually since um, switching the camera off, I just reinforced this edge of this um, piece because on here it was just single book page thickness which I thought well that's going to be a vulnerable point so obviously I didn't want you know that kind of being the situation so I've just reinforced it there I'm just going to do a straight stitch straight across the top here um, you know no particular reason for that I just thought it would look nice and obviously it just kind of helps to hold those book pages together if there's any bits that you know don't have enough glue so I'll just stitch those. Okay. I do apologise um, for the shaky table. I know that I've said this before, but you know, I can't really kind of do anything about that, I'm afraid. It is, um, you know, it's not a sort of really sturdy desk or anything like that. So, right, so hopefully you can see I've got the straight line there and then all I'm going to do is take my base piece my base piece I don't know why but that just seemed like a bit of a mouthful when I when I went to say it and then all I'm going to do is stitch this on on three edges so I'm going to stitch it down on these three edges here right so I'm just going to stitch this on literally going down those uh, three three sides so just using a straight stitch here. I mean, I guess you could use a, a, low, a zigzag stitch. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I just I tend to use a straight stitch when I'm doing things like this, but that's probably just because I'm not a very experienced sewer or a very experienced, you know, sewing machine user. Um, I just feel more comfortable probably using zigzag only on tiny pieces or tiny areas rather than kind of, you know, as a, a fixing point, if that makes sense. Right, so that's my little piece there. So we've got the pocket obviously here, which is super cool. And then when I glue that onto a journal page, I would obviously glue it on three sides and I would have a pocket at the top as well. Now, I've got this um, seam binding, like I say, and just wondering whether we might want to have some of that, I think, kind of ruffled down that side. So this is what I was talking about with that seam binding. I don't know really whether this is what, you know, what seam binding is really, but this is what they called it anyway, where I bought it. And um, it's this lovely satin kind of ribbon effect. And I just love this colour. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? So I've just cut the ends you know, like I would cut a ribbon in that sort of um, 
Oh, someone told me what, what this is referred to. Dovetail. Ah, oh, that was... Um, that was a miracle that I remembered that, to be honest. I'm so rubbish at remembering terminology. Right, so I'm just going to pull my sewing machine in slightly closer. Oh, I best put my glasses on so that I don't stitch my fingers. And then this is a technique that I've seen other people use for stitching ruffles. And you just use as, um, you know, oh, well, I'm using the screwdriver, but, you know, any kind of, like, longish thing. So your fingers don't have to actually get in. Now, I don't know whether you're able to see this, so I'm going to try and angle the camera. Oh, I don't know how well that, that's angled, but hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. Let me pull it in a bit more. And then I'm going to slow it down so I've got a bit more control and then just go in and do in my ruffles like that with the screwdriver. If it gets kind of to a point where it doesn't want to ruffle up, you can always stop the machine and then, you know, re-ruffle re it like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to take that out. Trim that off and cut it down here. Okay. And you can see on the back that has actually, you know, stitched on there. I thought I'd best check just in case I'd um, mucked it up at all. So that's that piece, which I think just looks super cute, doesn't it? So let's go back to the desk. Okay, so I now have pulled out that ribbon that we've been using on the other pieces. Again, just, you know, I think it looks really pretty on these. And to be honest, it just then adds another little bit of... Um, you know continuity between the pieces so I'm just going to take this here and I think just pop it down there across the top so again I'm just going to hot glue this down Oops. Yeah, like that gorgeous really really pretty Okay, so that's that piece. Now, the next piece, like I say, is a piece that we've made in the mass making sessions. And what I thought we could do is use this section here of the, um, you know, the collage sheet. And we'll just use these a bit like a cluster, really. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to cut it down in the first instance. Like that. Okay. And then this one here, I mean, this one obviously is going to be super easy to just tear out. So I'm just going to tear around that. Like that. Oops. Okay, so I've stitched through there. So I've got some, oh gosh, problems with the um, stitching and now I've torn the book page. Oh dear. Right, a little tip there, don't try and tear tear your thread to break it because you might just end up tearing your book page like I did. But anyway, it's it's fine. It's not really kind of too much of a problem. Um, now, just wondering, might just tear that down here off of that frame like that. Yeah. Okay. I'll just tear this piece at the bottom as well. Okay, so I mean that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Now, so we're going to have that one that side and then on the other side, which is a slightly, you know, higher pocket, we can have this one, which is obviously a taller piece. So I'm just going to again tear around there. Okay. that and okay. okay just tear down there as well oops right okay so 
making a bit of a meal of this as well, to be honest, but there we go. Right, so I'm just going to bring it down slightly more in on that side so it's going to fit well on this pocket. So at the moment it's obviously still slightly too wide. There we go. Okay, so that's a bit better. Um, and yeah, I'm going to just ink around on here. Okay, like that. And then I'm just going to glue that whole thing onto there. So I might just hot glue that. Again, I know I say this all the time. It literally, I'm hot gluing because, you know, for speed purposes, when you're doing a video, it's really just handy to know that everything's completely and utterly glued. You don't have to be sat there holding onto it or making sure it's glued or anything like that. It's, it's just glued. So yeah, you don't have to be using hot glue. But having said that, I do love using hot glue because it is so quick and instant. So, um, you know, you might well want to use it for the same reason that I like it. So again, just going around this piece now. Okay, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Now, I've also got some white doily here somewhere, which I had bought along. Okay. Just wondered whether we might have a piece of white doily poking out on that one. Quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, just there, I think. So I'm just going to, again, glue that down. So, and again, I'm just going to use the hot glue to attach this one. Okay. I love how these pieces look on this blue paper. It really looks pretty, doesn't it? Um, you know that that blue paint that yeah I mean it wasn't quite how I intended for it to be as you know and you know was much brighter brighter than I'd hoped but actually against these papers it just looks really pretty so um yeah I don't mind how it looks on these papers at all I think it looks quite quite lovely right okay so I'm thinking again we could just use a little bit of this lace so maybe that side i think looks quite nice or do we want it across the bottom no i like it on the thing so again i'm just going to ink this up slightly not going too mad but just a little bit around the edges and i'm just going to do it before i put that lace on because otherwise i'm going to darken the lace so okay Like that and we'll just do the other side as well okay there we go right so let's take this and we're just going to glue that down across there. So, again, just using that hot glue, super quick. Like that, and just snip that off here at the edge. Okay. So looking really, really pretty. And then on this side, I think just do kind of similar. Oh, I quite like it actually at the bottom here. So again, just going to take my hot glue, 
just pop that there like that gorgeous 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 and just trim that off at the edge okay so i think they look really pretty or that looks really pretty just as it is i don't think it really needs anything else on there just going to kind of add a little dab of blue here to that edge because it was a bit curly that's just where it's been you know slung in my stash for the longest time that one okay so we've got those two let's have a look and see what's left on the masterboard so okay we've got these bits here um mm -hmm. so i'm thinking maybe just to make a tag from this piece and maybe a belly band from this piece here yeah so i'm going to cut this down here on the actual line if you can see there's a line here that's like the natural line for the you know where those pages met and the reason i'm going to do that is because if i just move over a fraction you know that would just be like a weird slither on on the tag so that would just look strange so i think i'm better off going with the you know where it naturally kind of finishes and then this one i'm just going to cut here like that okay and obviously i need to then tidy it up on that edge well on both edges actually so let's go along here oh that's so pretty isn't it love it love it love it love it um okay i'm just having a look because I've obviously still got some background page, which we could do a little bit of collage actually on here. I mean, this is, um, yeah, this was not kind of on my plan, but just thinking, you know, would this tie this in? Oh, I mean, how lovely does that look? Yeah, I think that looks really, really nice. So. I'm really irritated by this. So what I'm going to do is try my best to put this here and then if I fold that over like that. I mean this is just such a bodge. I can't believe it to be honest, but um sometimes we just need to bodge things, don't we? Okay, I think it would look better actually like that because if it's going right the way across that looks very weird. So I'm going to put it like this. So what I'm going to do is just Put some glue down here and here yeah this is definitely a winging it you know on the fly on the fly kind of bodge bodge job because all i'm actually trying to do is get this so it's a thicker you know thicker piece and cover up obviously that where you know it had that sort of gap missing so that then this is you know completely usable as a belly band in its own you know in its own existence if you see what I mean or you know in the full piece if that makes sense because I didn't want to have to really cut it down even slimmer just to get rid of that you know that little notch that was kind of on there so by doing that it's just covered that up which you know that works really really well doesn't it and then what we could do is obviously down here, we could just pop another little piece on there. So let's just, oh, how gorgeous does that look? Love those colors, don't you? So yeah, I'm just going to, again, glue that down like that. Okay. love 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 how that looks okay so you know and how much easier can that possibly get i mean that's your whole belly band is now you know that that piece it's it's finished it's you know that is that is your belly band and of course you know we could stitch around this on the sewing machine um you know around the full piece which might look quite nice 
So yeah, I think I will do that because I think that would finish it off really, really attractively. Um, okay, just got a little sliver of page there. So I love how that looks. And what I'll do is probably when I sew this on the sewing machine, I might just add a little bit of that seam binding just across the top, um, which I think would you know look really pretty. So with this one, well, obviously we're going to make this into a tag. And I mean, it's pretty much tag shaped anyway. So, you know, that's all, all good. Let me just trim these bits down. So I'm just going to back that onto some of my coffee dyed background page which again is oops, a download from that's you know included on most of my most of my background kits page kits contain a plain coffee dyed background page sheet so I'm just going to use that to back this tag oops like that Okay. Oh my goodness, I can't actually even pick it up. Okay. Okay. I'll turn that over and we'll just spread that glue out from the back. Okay, right. Just going to trim this down. Right, let's just trim this down here. And I know I say this all the time. I just try and trim in like a millimetre or so over, which hopefully then gets the glue anywhere where I might have missed the glue, if you see what I mean, by just cutting kind of a millimetre over, you're hopefully going to cut, you know, right to that glue, if that makes sense. So there we go, I'm just going to trim that off at the bottom. Oops, like that and tidy it up there and then I'll just do my couple of corners for a tag like that and then this one okay oh that's so pretty isn't it on there that just looks so so lovely right let's just tidy up that thread okay looking good right just ink around here which actually I haven't inked around the other one yet so I'll ink around the other one before I take it to the sewing machine I think no particular reason you know could easily do that after the sewing machine it doesn't have to be done before um but yeah I might as well just do it now whilst I'm inking this you know it's just then nice and nice and quick while I've got the blendy tool in my hand to just quickly quickly ink this one as well so I guess the other advantage of doing it this way round as well is um, I haven't actually uh, you know stuck that seam binding on or anything which you know I don't want to necessarily ink that up so yeah I guess that's a that's another reason for doing the inking first Okay, so that's my couple of pieces there, which I'm going to just literally stitch around the edge of here and around the edge of here, or I might just do a zigzag across the bottom actually um, with the sewing machine. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much, I think, going to be it really for these. I'm just checking oh, that it's, yeah, it is double, double book page thickness. Um, okay, so I'm going to put these to the side, ready to go to the sewing machine. What have we got left on our collage board? Okay, so we just have like, two pieces when I say two pieces you know to me these feel like they are two you know two separate pieces really because um yeah they're quite different in style aren't they so they don't feel to me like they should be 
you know, part of the same thing. Um, right, now, how to use these and best, you know, get the best from using them. Uh, I mean, that, mm, I was going to say that's a very cute tiny tag, isn't it? The problem is, I love this whole, this whole section, you know. Um, mm, unless, let's just see. Oh, I'm just going to kind of cover this up. So I'm just thinking if I was to cut that down in half like that. Oh, I don't think so. Mm. Oh, this is really annoying. I'm going to end up with a chunk missing from here. Well, I don't think I can really do anything about that, to be honest. So I'm going to just cut along here like that. And then, oops. Okay. Oh, look at how gorgeous that piece looks. <gasps> I love how that looks. That's so pretty, isn't it? Right, let's just trim it down here. And a little bit here. Oh, I love that piece. Really, really, really love that piece. I don't know why, but for some reason, oh, it just looks so, so, so lovely. Right, so what to do with this one? Um, what to do with this? I have got some book page. Um, I was thinking I could make a pocket. That's quite nice, isn't it? As a book page pocket. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, I quite like that. Let me just check with a... Yeah, okay. So again, just going to ink around here a little bit. this piece as well just like that yeah I think that's going to look really pretty on there actually so I'm just going to yeah take that to the sewing machine and stitch that on um you know as a book page pocket and then, of course, I'll trim it up. So that's another piece of the sewing machine. I'll just put that to one side. So this is all that we're left with now from the entire, you know, the entire masterboard. So I'm going to just get rid of it here because that just seemed like the natural, the natural place for it to go. Um, perhaps we'll tear it across here. I have to be careful because I've got a row of stitching again there. Let's just tear the paper like I did just now. Oops, now that's oh, super long on there. Okay. Right. Trying to decide now what to do with this. Do you know what I think we could do with this, actually? Is we could have this on an envelope. So let me just grab an envelope. Uh, now, which envelope type? Like this type here. Well, I mean, I guess what we could do is kind of do like a, a foldy. So, right, again, very much back to winging it completely here. Don't know whether this is going to work. I don't really know what it is I'm actually <laughs> trying to do in the first place, but... It has something to do with an envelope and it has something to do with folding the envelope. But aside from that, no plan. <laughs> no plan at this point. Okay, right. So what I'm thinking is we could have the piece here on here like that. And then a fold 
I mean, actually, I was folding it the other way, really. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just tear it down slightly more so it's not quite so big like that. So I'm going to just glue this onto that envelope. Oh, fingers crossed that this is going to pan out and not be something really ridiculous that I'm making here. I'm going to do it on this glued side, if that makes sense, because this is going to be folded and then glued onto the page, is the plan. Didn't ink this up yet, so let's just quickly, quickly do that before that gets missed. Okay. Okay, then we're going to glue this one down. Okay. So I'll glue it down here. Right, and then what I'm thinking with this is we're going to then fold it here, like that. And then we've got a little foldy piece for putting on our page. And then what we can do is obviously cut this and we've got a little inserty pocket, which I think is lovely then. So let's just ink this up little bit around here and then where I've got that big gap here we can obviously just fill that in with I don't know we could put a label there we could put um you know some lace there or something I'm just going to have a look for my labels hold on okay so I've dug out a label and I just cut some um white lace down and I thought what I'll do I'll just glue the label there and then we'll just attach that lace and that's our little kind of foldy pocket, which I just think looks super pretty, doesn't it? So let's just glue this down. And I was actually looking for an ivory label, but um, actually this brown one sort of caught my eye and I thought, well, it just goes really nicely. So um, just get that glue there. Okay, right. And then obviously that glue's now trapping the lace here. But obviously I just need a little helping hand there with the lace to just attach it, you know, along here. So I'm just going to kind of just blob some, some lace. I just used my wet glue because that was just the one that was there right by my hand. So I've just dab that on in the sort of slightly thicker, more filled in pieces of the lace. So super, super, super pretty. And then, like I say, what we can do is here at the ends just cut those open so you've got then your pocket here just need to yeah I'm going to just tear that out so that's the kind of inner of the envelope if you see what I mean and then it will open up and you could put some coffee dyed paper on here for, um, you know, for journaling on. Or, of course, you could just leave it because you could journal on that anyway. You could cut this open so you've got a pocket there. Um, you know, kind of any, any of those things, really. So I'm going to quickly stitch these and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and this is my book page pocket. So obviously pocket there. This is the tag. I just did a zigzag at the bottom and just straight stitch around the edge. And then just more of that seam binding as the little tab there. And then this is that beautiful uh, belly band, which again, just did a straight stitch around the edge and then just attached some more of that seam binding at the top. So I love how everything looks. The only thing that now I just want to quickly do before we finish the, um, you know, the video is I'm going to just add a little tiny bit of this um, uh, <laughs> patterned paper. So I just want to kind of just get a little tiny bit on here like that. I just think it's, you know, it just finishes this off really, really nicely. So and then I just need to decide how I want this or where where I want this 
So you can just then. Yeah, so I'm just going to finish this off like that. I mean, you know, to be fair, it probably doesn't really need it, but I just think it, you know, it just adds another little dimension and, um, you know, just kind of ties it in, I guess, with the other, the other pieces. So we'll just pop that down there. Okay. And then this one we will just pop over there at the top like that oh how cute does that look so and then I'm just going to obviously ink where I've just glued that paper you know so it sort of doesn't look like it's just been plonked there it's got the ink sort of going you know marrying the pieces together bit of ink there at the bottom Oops, just quickly chop that off like that super super cute so I probably will add some lace and things to this one when I come to use it but at the moment I'm just going to kind of leave it so I hope that you like the pieces that we've made today um I mean we got a ton of pieces didn't we out of that collage board all together um with the pieces that we made yesterday so yeah really kind of um you know full steam ahead really so uh Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you, um, you know, enjoyed all the pieces that we made and maybe have found something kind of inspirational to use your collage board with. So thank you so much then and see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.